Hey kids, welcome to lesson 12, loops and simulations, number five, streaks of heads. We're going to alter our simulation so that it doesn't count the total number of heads, but rather the longest streak of heads. This will allow us to simulate how many flips it takes to get to 12 heads in a row. To begin with, you will change your looping condition so that the loop, again, only runs 10 times. This will allow us to visually confirm our code is working. Keeping track of streaks. We know we need to count streaks of heads. How do we do that in code though? Do we need to keep track of all previous flips so we know what's on a streak? Well, the answer is no. We can just instead count in a clever way that makes our code pretty simple. We're gonna make a variable to use a counter and every time you see heads, add one to the counter. Every time you see tails, set the counter back to zero. Here's some pseudocode showing how it works. You might take a minute to study and reason about why and how it works. We have our pseudocode right here. We have outside loop, head counts, and the number zero. Then we have inside loop, if current flip is a heads, heads count should add to one, else, Heads count should be probably set to zero. Then we want to display what the current flip is, display current heads count. Hmm. Looks like we have some new variable here that looks like it's just counting heads. And initially we want it to be zero. It looks like we're using an if else statement here. So if one thing happens, do one thing else, do something else. So if the current flip is a heads, we're going to add one to heads count, this one up here. Else, we're going to set heads count back to zero. Then we're going to display what the current flip is and the heads count. Well, that makes a little sense. We have a do this, change your while loops condition so that it only runs 10 times. Add code to the simulation that displays the length of each streak of heads, following the logic described above. Notice the pseudocode should translate to JavaScript pretty easily. The example below shows an example of what output your program might look like. And it goes zero, head streak zero, 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 and then we get one. And then if we get it, it goes up. So it keeps counting to the highest streak it looks like here. If it is a tails, it puts it as a zero. If it gets a heads, it gets added to one. And every time it does that, it gets one added to the variable. Tails comes up, looks like it gets reset and we go again. If we run it 10 times, this will just at least let us know that it is counting the head streaks in a row. Hmm. Well, that certainly is a little to do today. We really have two things to do. Looking at our do this, we have to change our while loop to 10 times. So we're going to have to change that number in the looping condition. And they hinted pretty strong that we're gonna need some sort of else statement. We're probably gonna to have to add that else statement right underneath our if. Let's go down here and take a look at our code. This is from our last lesson. It is just going to the number of heads. It is less than 10,000. That was a fun lesson. This is the condition that makes it run. So we want to set this from 10,000 to 10. This is just so we can visually check our code. Right now, we have our num heads right here. And num heads is set to zero. And then every time a flip equals one, or heads, it gets added to. What we really want to do is say, hey, if you do add plus one to heads count, else we want to reset that heads count right there. We're going to start another condition here then, and this is just going to be else. And we're going to have a brace, and it's just going to say num heads is going to equal zero. If the flip equals one, add one to num heads, else reset num heads just back to zero. I really think that's all we have to do. Let's try out our code and see 
if it looks like our example. Run, oop, just 38 total flips there. Hmm. Let's reset it. So we have right here, we have heads. Let's make this now heads streak. And we can uncomment this now. And while we're at it, why don't we uncomment our flip? So this will actually write to the screen and then we get the total number of flips at the end there. Let's go ahead and hit run and see what happens. Well, it definitely ran a bunch of times, but way more than I want. Why is that happening? If we look up here, we want to change the loops condition so it only runs 10 times. Right now it's set to num heads. That means I have to get to 10 or I have to flip 10 in a row before the simulation will stop. What I really want to do is set this to sim num so just the simulation runs 10 times. Let's see if that works. Run. 10 total here. And it looks like three was our longest streak. Let's reset run. First five off the bat, and then the next five are all tells. Ooh, not a lot of luck. Well, I guess good luck and bad luck right there. That looks like it works pretty well. Going again, looks like four was our longest streak here. Our code definitely looks like the example pseudocode up here. Looking back up, we changed our while loop condition so it only ran 10 times. We also had to change what the looping condition was from the number of heads to the number of simulations. We added some code to the simulation that displays the number of streaks. And that was our right down here. We just pretty much uncommented that. But to get that new num heads, we added an else statement. And it pretty much says, if the flip equals one, we're gonna add it to num heads. Else, we're gonna reset num heads to zero so we can count the streak. That looks like all code.org wanted from us. Let's go ahead and hit finish and see if they want anything else. Nope. Good job, kids. I'll see you on the next lesson.